Hey artists, today we're going to draw and paint this Easter bunny in an Easter basket. Make sure you have a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a glass of water, paintbrushes, and a paper towel. It's important to have the correct supplies for this style of painting, especially the watercolor paper and the sharpie. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is grab my pencil. We're going to start with the bunny's face. So we're going to go right in the middle of the paper pretty much, make a big circle or oval shape and then from that oval shape we're going to draw two really big ears let's curve up and around like that and then we can go ahead and draw the inside of the ears so i made a couple little fuzzies and then just kind of followed the same shape of the ear like that I have a, an extra line in this here. I'll erase that so it doesn't confuse anybody. Okay, so we have our bunny's ears now. And then we're going to go ahead and draw a couple little fuzzies on top of the bunny's head. Just for some little fur pieces. We're going to draw the bow. So right in the middle of the ears, we're going to draw a square shape. And then from that square shape, we're going to draw two lines like this, and then an oval, a pointy oval on that side, and then the same for the other side, two lines out, and then connect with a pointy oval. For the bottom of the bow, we go down, up, down, and up. Then you can do the same for the other side. So we have a bow like that. I made this this one a lot thinner. Yours might look different than mine, and that's totally fine. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and work on connecting the basket now. So from this part of the ribbon, let's go ahead and start curving down for um, the basket handle. So like this, and the same for the other side. We're connecting it to the ear because the basket handle goes behind the bunny's ear. Okay, and then we're going to pretend this line keeps going and we're going to draw down until we get about here. And then same on the other side, we're going to keep this line going this time. And then down. All right, from here, we're going to do the same thing. Line down and then the opposite side. We want to try to keep the distance apart from these lines the same the whole way all right let's go ahead and draw this part of the basket so kind of a i don't know if you call it the rim but it's a curved line around and back up again and then so a real long curved ovally shape all right we want to draw the bunny's paws on there so two big circles and let's go ahead and erase anything that we don't need. So you can see a little bit of the bunny's face in there. We want to erase that. We want to erase the basket piece that's behind the paws so you don't see it anymore. All right, like that. Okay, now my handle here didn't quite make it, so I'm going to go ahead and connect those. If yours didn't or if it went too far, then you can erase what's inside of there. We're going to go ahead and draw the bunny's nose in, so just a triangle with a little line down. And then two big eyes with two highlights inside. Okay, we're going to draw a little bit of grass behind the bunny. So I just did some zigzaggy lines and then some more zigzaggy lines underneath of those. That'll be the grass. And then we're going to do the bottom of the basket. So let's go from about where the um, handle is. So we're going to start there and kind of curve down and around and the whole way back to the other side is where we want to go. Like that. So again, right under the handle, that's where we want to connect back. All right. I think I'm, I have my bunny all sketched in now. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Sharpie and we can go over all of those pencil marks that we just made. You can make some of these outside lines, like especially the ears that go over top of the basket handles. 
a little thicker and that just shows that it's in front of. And then we can go ahead and get started on our next step. All right, I think I'm done with my Sharpie. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my eraser. Um, we can go ahead and erase any pencil marks that we can still see. All right, next step is, we're, is painting. So we're gonna go ahead and take our paper towel and a paintbrush and we're gonna start painting. I think we are going to start with the ribbon at the top. You can make your ribbon whatever color you want but I did mine purple. So we're gonna fill in that ribbon and I'm going, we fill it in with some water, I'm sorry. And you don't want it too damp, but just a little damp. And then we will add our purple color. We want it darker inside of the ribbon. So we're gonna start there and fill that in. And then we're gonna go along these edges here and down under here where there's gonna be shadows and then along this inside edge. Once you do that, you can just take your water and kind of blend into the rest of the ribbon and that'll kind of give it a gradient blended look to your bow. If you need to go back in with some more color, you can, especially on the inside of the ribbon. Along the bottom edge is a good place for a little bit um, more of a dark color. Okay, I think I'm done with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush and we're going to start on the bunny. So I'm going to fill in the bunny's ear first, but we wanna avoid the middle part. So we don't want where it's gonna be pink. We just want where it's gonna be like the yellowish color or whatever color you choose to make your bunny. I did mine a yellowish color. I'm just filling this in with some water again. And the same with this ear. All right, I'm gonna take my yellow color and I'm gonna start along the edges where I'm gonna want it a little darker. All of these places are where I want it to be, just a tiny bit darker than the rest. So then I'm gonna take my water and I'm gonna kind of pull that color down and into the rest of the face and the ear, or the ears. And I actually went back with a lighter yellow color. That's up to you what you wanna do. But I went in with this more peachy color, I guess I should say, and kind of filled in all over it. And that just toned down the yellow color so it was a more natural bunny looking color. So I'm just going over all of those spots again, lightly with this peach color. All right, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the paws while we're here. We're gonna do the same thing with the paws that we just did for the bunny face. So I'm gonna take, again, my yellow. I'm gonna go along the bottom edge because that's where I want it darkest and then just blend that up. And then again, I'm gonna go over it with that peach color. Just like this, all right. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the inside pinks of the ear. So I'm gonna take my wet brush and I'm going to fill in that middle section with a little bit of water. I did pretty light pink. I kept it darkest down in here and then kind of just blended it up to the rest of the ear like that. 
If you need to go back in with some more pink, you can. I would suggest it darkest along this side and at the bottom. All right, and then while you have that pink color, you might as well fill in the little nose. It doesn't take much paint for that. Okay, all right. Now we are going to go ahead and do the basket. So I'm gonna, again, rinse my brush and with my damp paintbrush, we're gonna go ahead on the handle and then we're gonna take our brown color and you can see where it's a little darker over here, back behind the ears and the bow is gonna be darker and then along this bottom edge by the grass. So I'm gonna mark off everywhere that's darker. Just like this, and then we're just gonna blend that in to the rest. You can get these watercolors on um, Amazon. The link is in the description of this video. These are my favorite watercolors. I use them all the time, but you can use whatever kind you want. All right, since we are finished with our handle, we're gonna go ahead and do the rim here of this basket. Same thing, filling it in with some water and then taking that brown color and we want it along this bottom edge and in between here. It's gonna be the darkest spots. And then I'm gonna fill that in with some water, blend it in, okay? And then the last part of the basket is this big part at the bottom. So it's gonna take a lot of water to make damp but we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make this damp. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some brown and we're gonna go along the edges. Want the edges the darkest and under the paws and under this rim of the basket. For this part, you need to move kind of quickly so that your paint doesn't start drying on you, but I like to um, kind of go in the same direction when I'm painting, big sections like this especially. Kind of try to keep the lines all going the same way. I want the middle of the basket right in here to be the lightest. I'm gonna add some more dark brown down here. And just blend that in. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So the last thing I'm going to do as far as color goes is the green grass that I put in the basket. So I just filled that in. I didn't do anything real special here. Just filled it in with some green. And then you can kind of see I added some yellow color to places that I thought maybe the sun would be hitting on this bunny. So I'm gonna take that yellow and I'm just going to dab where I think sun might be hitting this bunny. And that just gives the whole picture just a little bit more color, makes it brighter and more cheery. So. Then we're gonna just take some water and kind of blend those sections in. You don't have to go all over the painting like I just did. You could do one section at a time for this. But you can see that made it have a lot more color and just more cheery in general. Might add a little bit more purple to my bow actually. All right, I think I'm all finished with my bunny. If you enjoy doing this art project with me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see when I release new videos. I would love to make art with you again soon. Most importantly, keep creating. I'll see you next time. Bye.